Um, I asked this to Dylan, but to you as well. When Devin and Adai came in, it kind of seemed like it switched things up. How did you perceive that as opening up the floor for you as a guard and allowing you guys to kind of get going on offense? Well, you know, it's uh, it helped a lot because they're they're able to score right away. You know, Adai got a rebound, and Devin, I think, tipped, tipped one. And I think we got a few rebounds that, that uh, in that period. And uh, it helped us a lot. They give a good energy. They give a good energy to the team and, and switch things around, and we made our run. So you, you were right about that. That was a big run for us. It seemed like, you know, I think you hit a jumper with about, like, eight minutes left in the first half, and you guys from there on close on a 24-6 to six run in the rest of the half. What was it like just, you know, snapping that cold streak, and then what were you guys able to do to kind of keep it rolling for the rest of the half? Uh, well, it was just making the right play. Try to, and that's our game plan all the time. Trying to make the right play, have the open guy shoot at the ball, and that's what happened. We had uh, open shots, we knocked him down, and that's why we made our run. As a guard who rebounds, how important do you think it was, especially in that first half, to win the offensive rebounding battle ten to zero? It was huge. We knew we knew that was one of the uh, keys to this game, uh, and uh, they started the game with two centers, and so we it was pretty clear what I wanted to do, and uh, we made a. Clear point that we need to box out. We got a rebound, and we got to go on glass and on offense to get across the glass. So it's uh, it, it was one of the keys to the game coming in. We knew that, and we did a great job on it. Would you make of uh, your point guard's performance, Dylan, uh, especially the way he started the game shooting the ball? He was amazing. He was amazing. When he when he goes out there, he he he's confident. He tries to make the right play, and he, he's amazing for us. And uh, uh, we need him. We need him for us to play like that. Is there a difference playing in this building in a blue jersey? Aside, uh, I mean, uh, aside from a red jersey, like, uh, what, what is it being um, playing as a as a Bruin in this uh, this, this arena? Well, uh, I was I was glad that we we controlled the game the the whole way, so we kind of kept the crowd out of it. So they're, they're, we didn't make let them make any runs, uh, so it was it was not as as loud as maybe we would get if if they were start making shots and going on runs. So we kind of controlled the game, make the crowd get out of it. So it was that, that was huge for us. So I didn't. Notice a huge difference, I would say. Is that the recipe for getting wins on the road? Is like trying to make sure that crowd isn't really into it and it's oh, really hyping up the other team? Trust me, we're trying. <laughs> we're trying uh, to keep them out of it, but uh, sometimes it's hard. But yeah, that's the big reason why, why teams struggle on the road. And uh, there's, there's not a lot of teams that, uh, they, that won uh, road games this year in Pac-12. And that's exactly the reason, because the crowd affects it a lot. Do you think playing at McHale Center last week kind of helped prepare you for you know, this kind of environment that may be pretty similar? Uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, it, it was pretty loud over there too. So uh, it's games like that. I mean, you got to eventually get used to it, and you stop paying attention to that. You just focus on the game, making the right play. Good. Yeah. Thank, Thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it.